Hello, everybody. Have you ever wondered what in the world you do if you just really didn't want to cook? Uh, there was a whole bunch of leftover food in the refrigerator. You didn't know what to do with it. Well, I'm going to show you. I'm gonna f We're going to fix us a poor man's soup. I've got leftover veggies. I've got a little bit of hamburger ground beef. I've got one uh, uncooked pork cutlet right here that I'm going to fix. It's all going to go in this pot with soup. First, we're going to get us a little bit of olive oil here. I mean, this shows to show you, you can take whatever you've got in your kitchen usually. Throw it in a pot and make you some soup. <laughs> like I said, I fixed... <coughs> excuse me. I fixed pork cutlets. It's basically just tenderized pork is all it is. Uh, it's like cube steak, only it's pork. I don't like it as well as I do the um, the beef. But it's, it's good. I mean, you can make... Uh, pork cutlets out of it. It's pretty good. I'm going to chop this up in little bitty pieces. And I'm just doing it here over the pot so you can see what I'm doing. Basically just pulling it apart. Put a little bit of olive, olive oil in my pan. Now you can do this with chicken as well. If you've got some chicken, cut up you some chicken in here with your, your ground beef or your cutlet. Mix the meat together. I mean, I'm mixing beef and pork. So if you got a little bit of chicken, throw it in there. <laughs> I guarantee you when we get through with it, it's going to be good. And it's a cloudy day today. It's a little bit cooler than it has been. It's not cold, but it's cool. So I figured some soup would come in handy. And I found that most people that watch my channel like the, the cooking videos that you can take a little bit of nothing and make something out of it. So that's what we're doing. I'm doing the ground beef the same way. I'm just kind of chopping it up in little pieces as I throw it in the pot. If you got ham, throw you some ham, chopped up ham in there. Mix up your meat, whatever you got in the refrigerator. <laughs> I guarantee you, it'll be good when we get food. I mean, I call this a poor man's soup because... You put whatever you got in it. You don't go out to the store and buy certain ingredients to make a soup. You just put what you got in there. And I guess this beef is probably a quarter pound of ground beef. Something like that.
about a quarter of a red onion. I'm just going to chop it up. It don't matter what size pieces. Just chop it up. <laughs> Cut it up and throw it in your pot. If all you got is onion powder, put that in there. Like I said, I had this leftover red onion that I wanted to use up. And I figured this would be a great way to do it. It don't matter what color onion it is that you put in your soup. <laughs> Nobody said you can't put a red onion in there. Just gonna brown this pretty good and I wish you could see in my pot I guess you can see in there a little bit that way put a little bit of salt and pepper garlic over here. So I'm going to get me a clove of garlic off of here. Hopefully. get into it. Whoops. <laughs> Fell right in my sink of water. <laughs> it's okay, we can rinse it off. <laughs> garlic is cooperating. The skin is coming right off as I cut the end of it off so I don't have to get too fussy with it. Just chop it right up in my pot. Notice I'm not using the cutting board. <laughs> And some of you may wonder, well, what did she do with her uh, other pot? I still got it, and I still cook with it. <laughs> I mean, I like this new set that the subscriber sent to me. But I love my uh, set of club alum uh, aluminum castware pots and pans. They cook real good, too. Just that they're as old as I am.
If you don't have garlic, don't worry about it. If you got garlic salt, garlic powder, onion powder, use it. And we want all that to get brown pretty good. Because when you brown your meat, that's what give, brings out the good flavor in it. I'm going to go ahead and be cutting up my onion. I mean, not my onion, my... Um, little tomato here. I'm going to peel it because I don't like hard peelings of the tomato in my soup. And it doesn't seem that the soup, I mean the peelings of your tomato soften any at all when you cook them. <laughs> And I'm just doing this because I've got this tomato I need to use up. So I'm going to add it to my soup. If you got celery, cut you up some celery. Put that right there throughout this second. You know what? I even forgot to look to see if I had celery. I don't know if I've got any. I don't think I do. No, I don't. That's okay. <laughs> you don't have to have it, but if you got it, use it. I think I used all mine in one other dish that I cooked not too long ago. I'm going to add my tomato. If you got a potato, you can cut a, dice up a potato, put in it. Me, I think, as something different, I'm going to put some elbow macaroni noodles in it instead of potatoes.
Or if you got cooked rice that you got left over from another meal, you could put rice, cooked rice in it at the last and just have the rice in there long enough to get it hot because it's already cooked. And you've got you basically a soup with rice, just like chicken and rice or beef and rice. And I almost did that because I do have some rice left over from my cutlet that I cooked. Now, let's see. That needs to cook just a tiny bit more. I'm going to start adding water. And turn the burner up as you're adding the water so it'll start boiling. That should be plenty. I'm going to add... Because I always, even though I put onions in things, I like to put the onion powder. Because it gives it a little bit different taste, the powder does. And even though I put garlic, I like to add a little bit of garlic powder. And I'm going to add two bouillon cubes, beef bouillon cubes. If you got chicken, add chicken. This is ha this just happens to be beef bouillon. And you know it takes a little bit for the little cubes to dissolve after you put them in there. Doesn't want to come unwrapped. You can put chicken stock. Yes, like I said, you can add chicken to your ground beef and your pork. Doesn't matter. I guarantee you it's still going to be good. If you got chicken bouillon, put you some chicken bouillon in there. Sometimes I put both. I put chicken and uh, beef. At this point, I'm going to add a little bit of ground, not ground, but chopped green onions because I love green onions in my soups and stuff. I think that's sufficient. Oops. I'm going to put leftover mix veggies in there this is usually a meal you do on Friday <laughs> when you want to clean out your refrigerator go buy groceries on Saturday you clean out your refrigerator on Friday night and take all the leftovers and fix something with it well this is something that I did as, as I make poor man soup with the leftovers. 
And you know what? Since I'm talking about it, I'm going to go ahead and add me some um, bouillon in there. Chicken bouillon. Already got the beef. So I'm going to add just a little bit of chicken bouillon. Just because I got it. And it'll add a little bit of really good flavor to it. And at this point is when you can, like, dice up some potatoes. Throw your potatoes in there. I've got some sweet potatoes. I'm almost tempted, instead of putting noodles in there, to put my sweet, cut up, dice up some sweet potatoes in there. I think that would be good. But no, i got my heart set on my... my noodles, so. Mmm, tasting pretty good. Get that to boiling again. If you like tomatoes and you want to add tomatoes, hey, add you a can of tomatoes in there. <laughs> Whatever you like. I'm also going to make it healthy. And I went out there and harvested a few spinach leaves from my perpetual spinach or Swiss, Swiss chard. And guess what? I'm going to put those in there. I'm going to try to chop them up a little bit, though. It's alright if they're a little bit long, but I don't want them. So just because it's poor man's soup don't mean it can't be healthy. <laughs> and who knows, you might like your poor man's soup. I just kind of roll these leaves around and cut them right over the pot. Don't have to chop them on a cutting board. I do everything the simple way. I never even owned a cutting board for many, many years. Didn't need one. And I hope you know, I already washed this spinach. <laughs> I brought it in and washed it already. Well, they always say a watch pot never boils, does it? I'm hoping them little cubes have dissolved by now. I don't see them in there. Can't tell if they're dissolved or not. They should be. that to boiling. See if I can taste it after the 
hopefully the bullion cubes have melted. Mmm, that's tasting pretty good, y'all. But I had carrots and peas and corn and all kind of mixed veggies there. I figured that would be just enough to go in a pot of soup, and it was. Does need a little bit more salt. Not much. In fact, let me see what else I can find. Oh my goodness. Ahead. That'll probably do it. I was kind of looking for a um, can of tomatoes or something, but I don't really think I need tomatoes in there. I don't need any more peas. I think this will do it. And like I said, if you don't want noodles in yours, put potatoes. Cut you up some potatoes. I made a mess, y'all. <laughs> Still not boiling. Oh, and I know, too, seemed like I had a seasoning packet. I don't know. Yeah. I had a beef seasoning packet left over from some beef romaine noodles. I'm going to put that in there. That'll spice it right up. If you like hot peppers, put you some uh, chili pepper in there. If you like a spicy hot soup. I like the peppers, but I don't like it too hot. Now, I am going to put in... My noodles. And like I said, if you don't have noodles, if you got a one or two potatoes, or if you got one great big potato, just cut that one potato up, dice it up, and put it in there. I was looking for my measuring cups. They're never around when I want them. Or they're usually above the stove to where I can't get them. <laughs> set myself on fire. Measure out one cup of noodles. Because I don't want just plain old noodles in there. I want it to be soup. And you know, these uh, little elbows soak up quite, quite a bit of moisture when you're cooking them. And guess what? If you still wanted to add your rice, you could add a little bit of cooked rice <laughs> with your noodles. It don't matter. It's, it all makes a really good soup. I guarantee you.
I got to taste it again, see about the seasoning. Mmm, it tastes pretty good. See if I can find my cayenne pepper or my um, crushed peppers. I know I got some somewhere. Don't know if I'll find them. Well, I found my red pepper. I think that'll be good enough. Like I said, you don't have to put nothing like this in yours if you don't want to. You don't have to heat, put the heat to it. I'm going to put just a tiny bit in there. Just to spice it up a little bit. Now, by the time those macaroni noodles get cooked, my, my spinach should be cooked too, because it doesn't take long for that to cook. And that's, like I said, it's not only going to be a poor man's soup, but it's healthy. <laughs> it's definitely going to be healthy. Have you ever emptied your refrigerator out <laughs> and made an omelet before? I have. Many a time I maybe have bits and pieces of ham or bits and pieces of sausage or uh, sometimes leftover veggies or spinach and different things and, and I'll batter, I mean, Beat up a couple of eggs, put it in the pan, and I throw in onions, I throw in my bits of ham, my sausage, whatever's in the refrigerator, <laughs> and, and make a meal in one just with an omelet, or quiche as they call it. That's real good too. Takes a minute or two for those noodles to cook. I think a cup of them is enough for this. Because you know they do swell up when they're cooking, so I think a cup was enough. Let's see how hot I got it. <laughs> Rinse off my spoon before I dip it back in the pot. Ooh, that's good. Just enough heat to make it spike. Well, maybe not. <laughs> it's almost there. Because like I said, I don't like it hot. But I want it a little spicy. <coughs> 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 You don't want to breathe it, though. And cooking it like this, you know, with all your veggies and in there when you put your noodles in the cook, by the time your noodles are done, all the flavor from your veggies and your spinach and your meat and everything is all in that soup. It's going to be so good. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> 
<clears throat> Y'all are going to have to let me know how you like this. Move this back just a tiny bit. Yeah, I think you're going to like this poor man's suit. It looks good. <laughs> and have you ever put gravy in your soup? Like if you got beef gravy from the night before, flavor your soup up with it. Or if you got chicken gravy and you're making a chicken soup or something like that, even if, if you're making this soup, you can put a chicken gravy in there. It'll just make it taste better. I guarantee. Don't throw that gravy away. Put it in your soup. I know y'all are thinking that woman's lost her mind. Well, no, I haven't. You try it one time, you'll see what I'm talking about. It looks and it smells terrific. I'm telling you, it does. This is my dinner tonight. <laughs> and I will gladly eat a bowl of it. Make you some cornbread fritters or a cake of cornbread. Pan a hot biscuit or rolls. This is what I call comfort food, y'all. <laughs> it's comfort food, but it's healthy, too. And it's not going to break the bank if you don't have celery to put in your soup. I guarantee you. You don't have to have celery in your soup every time. Put what you got in there. I guarantee you, if you came in here right now and you ate a bowl of this soup when I got it cooked, and you didn't know that I basically cleaned out the refrigerator for the ingredients to put in it, you wouldn't know it. You'd think they were all fresh, just now gotten ingredients that were put in this soup. That's the reason I say people throw away money. They throw away food. It all goes down the garbage. Goes goes riding down the street in the garbage truck. You got a cup of corn. You got a cup of carrots. You got a cup of this, a cup of that. You got a slice of meat. Make you some soup. My goodness. Make you some soup. I'm checking my noodles, y'all. I don't want them so cooked that they're falling apart, but I want them soft. I don't want them half raw and crunchy. <laughs>
I need to try a noodle if I can find one. <laughs> Without getting everything else. It's got just enough spicy hot in it to make it good. Not enough to burn. Just enough to have that little bit of goodness. <laughs> to my way of thinking, if something's too hot, you ruin it. You just want a little bit of heat in something like that. And y'all, my super done is done. Any other time, I would have a bowl out here. And I don't like the way the light is over here. I really don't. Because <laughs> it looks to me like it just puts a glare on it. Woo! That is hot, y'all. Put my spoon in there. Oh my goodness, y'all. <laughs> Look at this. Y'all need to make you some poor man's soup. I guarantee you, you'll love it. Throw everything but the kitchen sink in there. Whew, just don't burn your mouth when you try to eat it because you're anxious to put get some down. Y'all take a bite. Mmm. -hmm. Hot. Mmm. That is good. <clears throat> good, good. This is really good. Y'all gonna have to try it. Poor man soup. You'll love it. And with that, I'm going to wish you a good day. I'm going to end this video so I can finish eating my bowl of soup. <coughs> but I don't spit it out. <coughs> Did your mama ever tell you not to talk with, mouth, with food in your mouth? Well, I get kind of lax on that sometimes. Especially when I'm ending or trying to do a video, I'll try talking with food in my mouth. It don't work too well. <laughs> But there you go. This is my poor man's soup. Try it. You'll like it. And you'll have a big pot of soup instead of throwing all your leftover food in the garbage. So with that, I'm going to bid you a good day. See y'all on my next one. Bye. <laughs>